Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today for Library Storytime. Glad to have you back. Hope everyone had great holidays. We're so glad to be back with story time. So uh, starting this week, all the story times are back in session. So please watch. And then those that have crafts, you can come to the Reader's Theater to pick up the crafts for the craft today that uh, we'll be doing after our story time is a craft called Animal Sword pet or wild and you will receive a file folder with instructions and you can glue on your title and your instructions and open it up you can glue on your sheet that says pet and here's a home on on one and on the other side wild and has a picture of a jungle and then you will get, well, let's just show you what you'll get. You'll get a file folder, and you'll get a packet of cards, animal cards. And with your, you'll glue on everything, and if you need a glue stick, we have that. But you can glue on all the pages, and you'll have a packet of animals that you can decide if they are a wild animal or a pet. Sorting is so important at this age because it leads to vital thinking skills that help in math. And so sorting, you can classify be between a pet or a wild animal. And you can either glue them down or you can just lay them down and do them over and over. So it's up to you. But that's our craft. And so come by the Reader's Theater to pick up your craft animal sort, pet or wild. And so today our books will have some books about wild animals and a book about pets. Do you have a pet? Would you like to have a lion for a pet? No, a lion would not be a good pet. A lion would be a wild animal. And so, let's look at some wild animals. Roar, a noisy counting book by Pamela Duncan Edwards. And we have a little friend to help us. It's a little lion cub. And little lion cub is looking for some friends to play with. But, roar, roar, little lion cub doesn't realize he's very loud when he roars. Roar. Roar. And let's see what happens. He's very friendly, but his loud roar certainly does scare off some creatures. Roar, a noisy counting book by Pamela Duncan Edwards. One day, while great big lions Lie basking in the sun, a jolly little lion cub goes off to find some fun. Here goes the little lion cub. All the grown-ups are sleeping. But the little lion cub wants to explore. Roar! The little lion cub cried. Who will play with me? But one red monkey rushes up a tree. Oh, and he's holding his ears. Little lion cub must be loud. Friendly little lion cub feels a little sad. Plods down the pathway. Pad, pad, pad. He roars by the lake. Will you walk with me today? Two pink flamingos flap and fly away. Puzzled little lion cub begins to feel upset. There must be others who want to play. I just haven't found them yet. He, oh dear, he roars even louder. Would you like to join my game? Oh, but three orange warthogs cry, No, thank you, just the same. <laughs> Down. 
hearted little lion cub sets off for his den, but then he thinks that maybe he'd like to try again. Shall we dance? Roars the lion cub. Let's wiggle, bounce, and roll. Four blue lizards slither down a hole. I think that roaring scared those four blue lizards. Unhappy little lion cub sniffs and starts to cry. Nobody will play with me and I don't know why. Hmm, do you know why? Hello, roars the lion cub. May I use your muddy slide? Five gray hippos shake their heads and hide. There they go. This little lion cub isn't very sure why everybody runs when they hear his playful roar. How about roars the lion cub swimming in the river? Six green crocodiles make the tall reeds quiver. Ah, there they go. Gloomy little lion cub whenever he draws near. Roaring in his nicest voice makes everyone disappear. Here he is. He's very friendly, but he has a loud roar, but that's what lions do, right? He roars across the grassland. I'm not having any fun. Seven black rhinos kick their heels and run. Gloom little lion cub, his loud and sudden roar gives everyone a shock and makes their ears sore. Let's picnic, roars the lion cub. Shall we find food to eat? Eight brown gazelles race off on pounding feet. Ooh. Lonely little lion cub still hasn't found a friend, but suddenly he hears a noise coming around the bend. What could it be? He hears a noise. Wow, roars the lion cub. Look at what I see. Nine yellow little lion cubs. They're roaring just like me. Look. They're doing what lion cubs do. They are roaring, roaring, roaring. Come with us, roar the lion cubs. Together we'll explore. Ten happy little lion cubs. Roar and roar and roar. Let's see our little cub. He roars and roars and roars. That's the story of Roar, a noisy counting book. Little lion cub just roaring and roaring. Well, we saw a lot of wild animals in this book. Let's see another book with some wild animals. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? It's very much like a book you probably have at your home. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? And this is polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? It's by Bill Martin Jr., who was a Kansan. And pictures by Eric Carl. But I'm going to use some stick puppets to help tell this story. Just like this. Polar bear, polar bear. What do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. 
Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear lots of children and they are roaring like a lion. Can you roar like a lion? Roar! They are hissing like a boa constrictor. Can you hiss? Sss, like a boa constrictor. They are yelping like a peacock. Ka, ka, ka. They are, what? Oh, they're snorting like a hippopotamus. Snort, snort. That's what I hear. And that's all the children making all those wonderful sounds just like you. Well, we've had two stories about wild animals. Let's switch. And what about pets? And let's look in our bag because we have a cute little puppy. Arf, arf, arf. How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf. The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf. I do hope that doggies for sale. Arf, arf, arf. Well, the family that we're going to read about is going to the shelter to pick a pet. That's a great place to get a pet. All those animals need a forever home. And this book is by Natasha Wing. She has a whole series of the night before books, but this is the night before the new pet. And we just had Christmas. Maybe you heard the night before Christmas. This is patterned after that, though it rhythm and rhyme is patterned after the night before Christmas. But this is called The Night Before the New Pet by Natasha Wings. was the night before we got a pet and all through the house all the chew toys were scattered squeak went a rubber mouse the fleece bed was set in my bedroom with care soon a sweet little puppy will be sleeping right there We went, we went to the pet store to buy a collar and leash. Want a few treats? Asked the clerk. Mom said, yeah, we'll take some of each. My sister wants a pony, but we're getting a pup. Let's get two pets, she begged. She just wouldn't give up. How about a gray bunny or a snow white chinchilla? Please, said my sister. We could name it Vanilla. It's settled, said Dad. One pet is enough. Then I get to name it. I'll call it Snuggle Fluff. That night, we nestled all snug in our beds while visions of wagging tails danced in our heads. 
Early the next morning, Dad set up the crate. I put in a blanket and cried, oh, I can't wait. We drove to the shelter. There were animals galore, gerbils and pygmy goats. Oops, one piddled on the floor. Oh, that happens, doesn't it? Animals have sometimes have accidents. There were all kinds of dogs, from big ones to small. Of course, my sister insisted she wanted them all. Then what to our wondering eyes should appear but a frisky little pooch with one floppy ear. His fur was so soft, his nose cold and wet. He was the cutest pup ever. The perfect new pet. He's a great dog, said the lady, and he's part Yorkshire Terrier. Let's take him home, I said, and Dad put him in the carrier. We were about to leave when we heard a me mew. Oh, please, she's so cute. Can't we bring her home, too? Dad picked up the kitten. She started to purr. Hello, precious, he cooed to the tiny ball of fur. What a total surprise to see Dad so smitten. Guess what happened next? We brought home a dog and a kitten. They did get two pets. And that's Natasha Wings the night before the new pet. So, so cute. Well, thank you for joining me today. I'm so glad you did. And remember, stop by the Reader's Theater and you can create your very own file folder. You can sort between the packet of animals, whether they would be a pet, and you would put them with the pet side, or maybe they're wild. Ooh, a lion is wild. Elephant, you certainly can't have as a pet. That would be wild, but you decide and you can sort and that'll be a great activity. Thank you for joining me today for Library Storytime. I'm excited to see you again next week. Bye-bye.